Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2. In this video we're going to expand and simplify a binomial raised to the third power a plus b cubed by using two different methods, the box method and the distribution method, and each of those are going to give us the same exact answer. So our first method is the box method. And the first thing we're going to want to do is expand this a plus b cubed. So a plus b cubed is really just equal to a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. So we're going to be making two boxes to multiply this entire thing together. So for our first box, we're going to be multiplying a plus b times a plus b. So we're just going to take two of them at a time. So we're going to make our first box, which is going to be two by two, two columns, two rows, and now we're just going to put each term of a plus b on either side of the box. So a, b, a, b. So this part represents a plus b and this part represents a plus b. And we're just multiplying them together. So to multiply them together, we're just going to take each term and where they line up, we're going to multiply them. So a times a is a squared. a times b is a b a times b is a b again and now we have b times b which is b squared and now the solution to a plus b times a plus b is just all the terms in this box so before we start writing them out though notice that we have some like terms here that we can add together and combine so so we're left with a squared plus combining these two 2ab two plus b squared so you might want to feel like you're done, but don't forget we still have this a plus b up here that we need to multiply. So we're just going to bring that back, back down here. So we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which we found here, now times a plus b. So to find this, we're just going to need to make a bigger box. So this time we need to make sure we have three columns and two rows. And we know that because there's three terms and then there's two terms. So here we can write a squared, 2ab, b squared, and then times a, b. And now we're just going to do the same thing we did before and see where they combine and then multiply them. So a squared times a is a cubed, 2ab times a is 2a squared b a times b squared, we just get a b squared, we get a squared b over here, over here we have 2a b squared, and now we have b squared times b which just gives us b cubed. So again we have some like terms to combine here so let's just highlight those. We have a squared b plus 2a squared b and we also have 2ab squared plus ab squared. So let's combine everything and see what our answer is. So we have a cubed plus, combining these, we get 3a squared b plus, combining these, we get 3ab squared. And then now we're just left with b cubed. And that's our answer. So now let's look at another way to solve this, the distribution method. So we're going to be finding the same exact answer, but this time we're going to be distributing. So the first step is the same thing as we did in the box method. We're going to just expand this to say a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. And again, we're going to be focusing on a plus b times a plus b first, because we only want to do two at a time. So let's bring that over here. So we have a plus b times a plus b. So now for the distribution method, to do this, we end up, we're just distributing each term and multiplying it by each term. So we're gonna go a times a, which is a squared, and then a times b plus a times b, which is a b. And now, let's use a different color. So now we're gonna do b. So now we're gonna go b times a, which is a b, and then, b times b, which is b squared. So notice here we actually have 
like terms to combine again, we have AB plus AB. So let's combine that. We have, and then we have A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So again, we're not done yet, right? Because we need to multiply this other AB times what we just got. So let's bring that down. And then we're just going to do the same thing, distributing each term to each term. So, so let's start again. So we go a squared times a, this gives us a cubed. a squared times b gives us a squared b. Now we want to go to the next term, 2ab times a. So that gives us 2a squared b and then 2ab times b gives us 2ab squared. And now we're left with this last term, b squared. We gotta distribute that also. So b squared times a is ab squared. And then b squared times b is b cubed. So, so now this looks like kind of crazy. So let's just look for where we can combine like terms. So here we have a squared b. Here we have another a squared b, so we can add those together. And now we have a b squared, let me, circle this so it looks different and then this is also a b squared so let's combine everything and see if we get the same answer we have a cubed plus let's add these together we get 3a squared b plus add these together and we get 3a b squared and then this b cubed is just out on its own and we add that in and we get the same exact answer so we could even check so this was our box method, and this is our distribution method, and notice we get the same exact answer. So we know we did something right. If you want more questions like this, try these practice questions on the next slide right here. And to check your answers, the solutions are up on the blog, mathsucks.org. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!